And I said, well, you're familiar with the place that I work in, right? And I said, yes, it would be perfect. Greetings programs, Atari here, you there, and if you enjoy watching him, him, her, her, him, or her, then you will probably dig this channel. So go ahead, click the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And let's get started. A little while back, I was approached by this company called EnviroCleanse, and they make all kinds of different gadgets and solutions and cleaning products and filters, and mostly for like cleaning, sterilization, sanitization in a household uh, capacity. And they, uh, they approached me and they said, hey, would you be interested in testing out our new air purification system? And I said, well, you're familiar with the place that I work in, right? And I said, yes, it would be perfect. And I said, fantastic, send me one. So they did, and um, I am waiting on it to arrive. Oh, I think it's here already. So let me go grab that, we'll open it up, we'll take a look. Okay, so this is the big massive unit right here, and uh, we've got our air intake up here, and oh, I love how it rolls so nicely. Uh, this is the exhaust down here, um, and in between, we have, this is like just your standard um, HVAC type of air cartridge. It is a, um, it's whatever size this is, 14 by 14. Um, and it is full of carbon. Um, so that's, that's how you're getting your VOCs out. Um, and then this guy, this is like the heart of the deal right here. It's a huge HEPA filter cartridge. Just a humongous HEPA filter cartridge um, that goes in there. Then you've got this mass, well, it's not massive, but you've got like a 12 inch squirrel cage blower uh, here on the bottom and it moves so nice. Oh, that's nice. That is very nice. So that's basically the heart of the system. Nice thing is we don't really need to tear this thing down so bad uh, because it says right here on there that it is a 115 volt 60 hertz 92 watt motor. So, so we know what kind of motor it is. At least I uh, could probably uh, look this guy up and see if the actual specs are. I'll probably put that on the screen right about now while I'm talking about it. But anyway, so nice, uh, oh, nice, nice bearing uh, on that squirrel cage blower. And then we have our massive, massive HEPA cartridge. That's got a little gasket around the outside. You'll notice it does not say EnviroCleanse on the unit. It's distributed by Timelin, which is like EnviroCleanse is like the brand name for this company. As I've come to find out, they, they basically buy up a bunch of different technologies and they distribute for them under the EnviroCleanse brand name. It's a marketing company is what it is. I've worked for companies like that. There's nothing wrong with that. So that's pretty much how it goes in there. This guy comes down just like that. So got that in there, put it on the plug it in, put it on the wisp air setting for a couple of days. Then we can start taking some measurements. Uh, let me get a baseline from my FUBOT. And if you haven't watched that video, there's a thingy up there in the corner. You can watch all about the FUBOT. Let me get a baseline from that one and uh, we'll plug this in, get it chuchin, and see if we can improve the air quality in this shop, even just a little bit. Now, one other thing that I wanna try, and it's very important, not necessarily in an industrial setting like this, even though I am making videos, so I do need a little bit of relative quiet, I do wanna check how loud this device is. Now, it's not running right now, and I've got my little uh, decibel meter, and with just me talking, we're looking about yeah, 70, 80 decibels, uh, A-weighted decibels. Um, now, if I go down to quiet, if I just stop talking for a second, 
looking about 36 decibel. So that's where I want it to. So 36 is the ambient sound in this, uh, in this space right now. So I'm gonna turn the system on. I'm gonna turn it up to high and see how very loud it'll go. And then we'll check down the other settings. So the system is actually rather quiet, surprisingly quiet, considering it's got such a large blower in it. Um, way, way quieter than a lot of the more uh, consumer forward models uh, that I've run into. They're very, very loud um, and annoying. Uh, but this one on the Whisper setting moves a lot of air at very little noise. It's actually running right now. I don't know if you can hear it on the microphone, but it is actually running right now as I'm sitting, standing right next to it. So yeah, great for a household environment, uh, even better for this shop environment. At least, you know, keeps it relatively clean while <laughs> so I can breathe while I'm working. Uh, so I've had this guy running for a couple of weeks now and um, it's actually rather impressive, especially considering what all we do in this shop to just make the air atrocious. Um, so as you can see, we started out with extremely high concentrations of VOCs off the charts, so to speak, along with fairly high concentrations of particulate matter. Gee, I wonder why. One week after starting the EnviroCleanse, we dropped down significantly back to much healthier air levels, with the exception of this one day, which involved a lot of welding and plastics work. It's kind of an outlier though. However, the levels immediately dropped back down to acceptable numbers. After two weeks, the air quality has maintained healthy levels, even with continued production work in this environment. So all in all, the 250 CFM mobile air system from EnviroCleanse is actually a rather impressive beast. I am thoroughly surprised and, and really happy with the results that I'm getting, uh, and not just because they sent me this thing for free. Um, I would say, I would hazard to say that yes, uh, if you suffer from allergies, if you work in an environment that is extremely dusty or otherwise polluted, if you're like me and live near a freeway, uh, <laughs> all these different things, it would certainly behoove you to uh, pick up one of these systems. Um, yes, it is a little pricey, but you do get what you pay for. It's not running down to Target and grabbing, you know, one of the little guys off the shelf that's extremely loud and doesn't work very well, and you have to replace the filters every couple of weeks. Uh, <laughs> So you're not getting some chintzy piece of like Chineseium crap here. You're actually getting a high quality German made, German engineered uh, squirrel cage blower, high efficiency fan in there, moves a lot of air very quietly and, uh, and a lot of HEPA material <laughs> to filter out just about everything. Um, the air quality in this shop has improved drastically since I turned this thing on. And, uh, and my quality of my work has actually kind of increased a little bit because I'm not quite so, you know, with the uh, being able to breathe. <laughs> so maybe that's an exaggeration, maybe not. Uh, so anyway, head on over to airbornesurfer.com. You can find out how to get your hands on one of these beauties. Show notes in the doobly-doo down below. While you're there, you can also grab the specifications for the motor assembly so you can see for yourself it is a, it's the real deal. 
Yes, I actually do honestly like this thing. Yes, it was sent to me free of charge. No, I am not shilling it because they told me to. Um, no, this actually, <laughs> the data show that this actually is a pretty decent machine. Now there's a couple of more tests I got to do with this thing. I'm going to take it home and try it out there in a domestic environment. I'm also going to take it over to Plasma's shop and see how well it does picking up all those nasty VOCs that come from cutting acrylic with a laser. So check those out. Hit the subscribe button down there in the corner. In the meantime, uh, connect with me on social media, Twitter at Airborne Surfer, Instagram at The Airborne Surfer. Uh, show notes are over here in the corner. Here is a video that YouTube thinks you will probably enjoy. Uh, my name is Atari, and until next time, tally-ho, y'all.